Hi everyone, Caleb with Melling Engine Parts. We are here in the tech department today to look at a few ways to determine the general health of an engine. Anytime you plan to perform internal engine repairs such as oil pump or timing system replacement, you should first perform a few tests to determine the general health of the engine. The first test I generally start with is a basic mechanical engine oil pressure test. Low hot idle pressure could indicate internal engine wear. This wear allows oil volume to bleed off internally. This internal bleed or leak greatly affects the lubrication of the bearings and valve train, as well as the pressure that gets delivered to components such as hydraulic timing tensioners and VVT actuators. Low idle pressure should be properly diagnosed and repaired before making any unrelated internal engine repairs. The next test would be a compression test. All cylinders should test above 100 PSI and no cylinder should test less than 70% of any other cylinder. Low compression could be an indication of worn piston rings, poor valve to valve seat sealing, or an improperly timed engine. A cylinder leak down test can also be very helpful when diagnosing an engine's health. All cylinders should have less than 15% leak down and there should be no more than 5% leak down difference across the cylinders. Higher cylinder leak down could indicate bent valves on an engine that has experienced timing failure. It could also indicate worn piston rings or poor valve face to seat contact. The last two things we will do before tearing this engine apart will be to cut the oil filter to check for metal or excessive debris. Finally, we can pull the variable valve timing solenoids. Any metal or excessive debris on the screens indicates that the oil filter was in bypass, which means that all of that metal and or debris has been circulated through the engine. Once we perform these tests, we are ready to get our hands dirty and start digging deeper into the internal diagnosis of this engine. Our 3.6 liter GM V6 here had a timing system noise complaint. We noted that the hot idle oil pressure was slightly lower than normal on this engine. The compression and cylinder leak down numbers were within spec. We noted some copper colored material in the oil filter after cutting it open and the VVT solenoid screens were clear. Once we removed the timing set, we found the tensioner shoes and chain guides showed signs of excessive heat and wear. You can see how these surfaces are discolored and worn due to excessive heat directly related to a lack of or poor lubrication. On these engines, the idler sprockets have a direct oil feed that lubricates the bushing inside the idler sprocket. After pressing the sprocket apart, we noted that there was excessive wear to both the drum and the bushing. The timing chain and sprocket teeth also show signs of wear. After assessing the internal components of this engine, it is apparent that we should either have the engine rebuilt or install a remanufactured engine. Properly investigating the cause of internal engine component failure will ensure that we do not experience repeat repairs in the field. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out our other tech videos.